new videos every day. Today we are talking about Lucky Charms. They are magically delicious and will give you marshmallow power. But before we talk about Lucky Charms, obviously that is not a health food. I mean, just from the title and just from how they market the cereal, it's not something that you want to eat, you know, as a health food. So my question to you is, what are some healthy cereals out there? So pause the video and let us know what some cereals out there maybe you've eaten, maybe you've heard about them, and let us know what you think. Now Lucky Charms is near and dear to my heart because I ate that growing up and granted we were pretty much limited to eating it on the weekends, but I also was a chubby child growing up, so you know that's kind of an interesting comparison there. Um, but yes, that cereal is so addictive and I know a lot of adults who eat it, it's, you know, kids aren't the only ones that eat it. It's addictive because it has high sugar content, so you know, even I wasn't left out. In 1963, General Mills' main two cereals were Wheaties and Cheerios. You know, pretty healthy cereals for back then. Okay, well, the vice president of General Mills decided that he wanted to spiff up his Cheerios, so he started adding shavings of Kraft Circus Peanuts to his Cheerios. Well, for those of you who don't know, Kraft Circus Peanuts are basically marshmallow candies. And so he actually was adding candy to his cereal. Yes, candy to his cereal. And so this gave him the idea, and he took that idea back to General Mills, and they started to develop the idea of this Lucky Charm cereal. And uh, they came up with the idea to uh, mirror the concept after a charm bracelet, so they began to form the marshmallow shapes into, you know, what may be on a charm bracelet. They uh, added different colors, and um, and then of course, no kid cereal can be popular without a cartoon character. So they invented Lucky the Leprechaun, which is of course its main icon. And so now you have this Lucky Charm cereal that is marketed to kids. It's not, it wasn't created to help kids get more fiber in their diet or help kids get more whole grains in their diet. Uh, it was literally just created to um, appeal to those who want sugar and sugar in their cereals. And I just wanna make the point that the way that this cereal was developed was literally adding candy to Cheerios, candy. Now something else that's really important to know about Lucky Charms is that when it first was developed, the oats that were separate from the marshmallows in the cereal uh, were just, you know, plain oats. They weren't coated with anything. Well, after its initial uh, entrance into the marketplace, the sales failed to meet the expectations. So they, you know, the developers took the formula back, they reworked things, and they decided that there would be higher sales if they added more sugar to the cereal. So they began to sugarcoat all the oats in the cereal. And that's where Lucky Charms is today. Lucky Charms was the first cereal ever to add marshmallow bits to their cereal, which is now pretty much a standard for any kid cereal out there. And it's also the number one kid cereal and they sell, and their sales are $150 million every year. In other words, you can pretty much just give your kid candy because that's what it is and they're selling a ton of it every year. The Nutrition Fact panel on the Lucky Charm cereal box says that the serving size is three-fourths of a cup. Now, most people do not measure their cereal in the morning. You know, people are, <laughs> they're good to usually even eat breakfast. So the last thing you're gonna do is sit there and measure their cereal. And if they're pouring it into their, you know, the normal bowl that their people have in their homes, 
they're just going to fill the bowl up regardless of how many serving sizes the box says. So I have found in my experience people are usually eating about two or more cups of cereal at a time. And uh, so the serving size in the Lucky Charm box isn't exactly what people are eating. However, three-fourths of a cup serving is 110 calories, 11 grams of sugar, only one gram of fiber, and two grams of protein. So if you really think about it realistically, what most people are eating, they're getting probably triple the, the serving size. So they're getting about 330 calories, 33 grams of sugar, only three grams of fiber, and only six grams of protein. And of course the ingredient list has artificial food colorings, artificial flavors, has my favorite, mint sugar is mentioned five times in the top four ingredients. How is that possible? And the marshmallow bits are made with, guess what? Sugar, dextrose, dextrose is another form of sugar. Corn syrup, which is another sugar. Gelatin to hold it together. And if you've heard, you know, the recent marketing about Lucky Charms made with whole grains. Well, that is so a marketing ploy. Before I made this video, I did some of my own research and I went on the Lucky Charms website. And I'm actually gonna put a link in the description that's right over there. And I really want you to see this. You actually have to see this website to believe it. And uh, just listen to some of the things that they have on this website, just really targeting kids. Well, they have this whole site set up geared towards you know all these games for kids and really marketing the cereal and you know doing it in a fun manner and the kids get to be interactive and all this stuff okay so listen to the games that are on there berry mountain pinball magic popper power lucky magic movie maker blue moon breakfast pot of gold rainbow rider and Clover Karma. Now what kid is not going to want to get on this website, play these games, and then go demand that their parents buy this cereal for them? In other videos I've talked about what sugar does to your body, but basically when you consume refined sugar, it hits your bloodstream so fast and it causes your blood sugar to spike really high. And then your pancreas has to release insulin in order to bring that, that glucose down. Well, and then it hits a low point. So then you feel exhausted and tired and hungry and you start having cravings because your body's like, oh, my blood sugar's too low, I need more sugar. And then you go search for food and then if you don't realize what's happening, a lot of times you can go right back to that same food that you ate that caused the problem in the first place. So we're giving this stuff to our kids and then we're sending them on their way to school and, you know, be good at school or we're complaining that they have behavior problems or, you know, they're so hyperactive. Well, this is one of the first things that we need to eliminate out of their diets um, because if this, if this amount of sugar can wreak havoc on an adult, think about how much it is magnified in a little kid's body. The, the main two points that I want to make about this video is one, Lucky Charms is candy. It's not cereal, and even though it is on the cereal aisle, it's candy. And the other point is, is this cereal was created, you know, really with the foundation of marketing. It wasn't created to better the health and nutrition of your child. And, you know, actually with how successful Lucky Charms has been, it's really it's really considered one of the most successful marketing campaigns in American history ever in, in the food market. And it's used as an example of how well a product can do in the marketplace with you know effective marketing. So there you have it, the truth about Lucky Charms. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna be making a follow-up video on how to choose a healthier cereal and uh, please subscribe leave your comments and I will see you next time bye bye for more great videos like this one check out the Psyche Truth channel on YouTube